All right, this is take two, other side of the spring. On my last video, this spring compressor got a little squirrely, got a little crooked, and you can see it got a little lopsided on me because I was holding the phone and I loaded it up and was hitting the trigger, just letting it do what it did. But this time I took the tool, see I already trimmed this shaft to the perfect size. See, I already tightened it down a little bit to where the arms are touching the spring on the top and the bottom. So you wanna swivel those arms to where they're bottomed out as much as they can be. And then you wanna have your deep well socket or at least your socket with an extension on it. And you're gonna go through. Try to get you a view here. You're gonna get through that center bottom part centered itself like that so that might be okay so we're gonna take out hopefully this just comes out easily yep and last time I was joking about that tire and it would be good enough underneath the muffler no put it underneath the subframe or uh, if this jack is far enough this way which it's not in this case you can put it underneath the pinch well that's the highest spot clearance so we still probably got to lift this thing up a little bit you can see on the bottom here that's all the way off that support I just uh, threw the good old leg up there to pull the controller down a little bit. And this, uh, this time I didn't even tweak this at all. Last time I tweaked that a little bit. Now I can load that back up in there perfectly straight if I want, and that's a uh, stock spring. So I can do that without even disconnecting the strut. And for comparison, that is a spring that has not been compressed. So you're gaining a good maybe three and a half, four inches, maybe more. So is this altogether necessary? I say no. Um, you can debate in the comments but I've done lowering springs, and this is just a flimsy little shim. That's not, this is, if anything, this is holding this up higher, and this is the part right here that locates you and to the bottom of your spindle, right here. This piece here locates here, and then the bottom of the spring fits right here. 